Hey guys, so it's me, Nicolette Mashile, and today I'm sitting with a very special lady. I spotted her in our event. We we're doing an event with FNB Game Changers, and we were talking financial education. And one of the things that came up was policies and how our parents love to hog policies. I want to talk about how my mother on her pay slip she's got like seven policies and i'm like ma what are That's you paying wild. for it is a bit wild right <laughs> so i am sitting with nosiko she's absolutely amazing and she told us a very cool story so this is nosiko's story okay so when i was 16 my mom passed away which was like 12 years ago and one of the things my sister and i discovered was that my mom had quite a few policies so this what happened was with all these policies, we started finding out that they were with Sunlam, with FNB, etc. And a lot of it ended up paying out my entire life. I was able to educate myself, I went to VC, I went to Camlin, I went to DUT, and I paid it off with my mom's policies. I was also able to then get myself two cars, not one, two <laughs> cars, just off living off policies. And it was really great. Um, but with having said, said that, with what Nicolette has just said, with her mom having seven different policies, um, one of the things that was said in this segment was that don't just hoard stuff know where your money is going yeah. and that was something that i actually took away from my mother that she had education policies she had policies for after school because your life doesn't end after varsity guys it doesn't end after the trip stuff happens you need to pay rent you want a car before you get your next job you can't get employment after studying so she took she did she made sure we were taken care of the way we spent the money would that's, touch and go. that's a different conversation <laughs> altogether but she made sure we would be okay no matter yeah. what 12 Ta years later i'm good <laughs> maybe perhaps tell us a little bit about your mom what did your mom do because i think a lot of people think that already there's probably somebody sitting there thinking mm. yeah but what if her mom was like a school principal somewhere yeah. or like, you know <laughs> yeah what did your mom do so my mom was a nurse she was a nurse from the 80s after that um during the 90s what she did was she was also part of like HIV training. Um, so she would get extra money training people about um, how to take care of yourself or your family members when they have HIV. She also sold golden products. So she had like, she was a slasher. Yeah. <laughs> but so that's she not what they not called them. Yeah. yeah. But that's not what they called them. And then when I was what, 13? Mm. She built a back room, guys. <laughs> Sure. So we had more income because we had people renting, yeah, students renting, and that was money as well. And your dad? My dad was a minor, um, so he was there, but he wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> so basically everything sat on my mother. Okay. Um, when I was, what, grade eight, my mm. dad was like, he can no longer afford to... Um, contribute to my education because my parents weren't married okay so my mom was like no it's fine and she figured it out and she sent us both to private school and she figured it out <laughs> and i think that's the crazy thing that we always make this assumption that black parents especially do mm. not know how to manage money but no. here's a mother you know raising kids in the 80s has managed to put away so much money mm. unfortunately her untimely death comes and her children are still taken care of and they can still yeah. feel you know the benefit of him of, of, of mom making good financial decisions definitely definitely like if there's anything i will take away from it is prepare for the future because you never know you never you literally never know if you're gonna drop dead tomorrow because we didn't know she had cancer mm. until pause after she passed mm. she went into hospital monday for a small operation friday the person passed away 12 years later we're good <laughs> sure <laughs> Guys, this story is just inspirational. I actually don't know what to say. I'm actually very happy and proud of mom. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.